It's a Monday starting off the week. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done like a normal vlog of my life. The last two vlogs have been weekends in my life where I had friends and then we had some family here and we were just like out doing all this stuff. And I really just want to get back to doing some normal vlogs of like what my life really is on like the daily basis so i think i'm gonna do a week in my life it's gonna be a busy week we've got more stuff going on this weekend i feel like my life is just all over the place and <clears throat> i'll get more into that sometime this week um but i just wanted to get back to some like normal real life content look how long my lashes have grown I've mentioned this in a couple videos now, but you guys, if you are not using that Grande Lash Serum, I have mine from Amazon, um, you need to be because look at that. It's just mascara. I'm just using the Rare Beauty Mascara now. Time to go to work. We are at school. It's 8.30. I have been feeling lately like my life is just in shambles. <laughs> and there's so many moving parts and I am like having a quarter life crisis, which I won't get too much into now. But I am trying to keep everything kind of organized. And it's been a while since I've written in my guided journal, which really helps me stay on track. Let's see. Yeah, the last time I wrote in it was April 20th, so it's been a minute. I'm gonna just kind of plan some things out in this journal. I've talked about it before, but this is a, it's called Make It Happen 369 Method Guided Journal, and I got this off Amazon. And you write like an affirmation or like, kind of like what your goal is, but imagine yourself as that goal. Um, <clears throat> three times in the morning, Sorry, I don't know if you can really see it. Three times or six times in the afternoon, nine times at night. To be honest with you, I never really get to the nighttime, barely get to the afternoon, but it does help just to like write down in the morning. And then like what really helps me out too is like the action. It says, what actions are you taking today? And this is like your to-do list on the other side. Um, and then there's a part for self-care, movement and hydration. And so like how you're getting those things in there too. Done writing. This is what I wrote for my like affirmation. Um, I am an in-demand and successful artist and designer, and I have been writing that since I think like September of this year I started using this, um, and I do feel like it's really helped me put that goal into reality. I am trying to get my classroom together right now. It's been a crazy last few weeks we've been doing clay Here, let me show you we've been doing clay and painting they made we looked at this artist i'm blanking on the name but that does like pie and cake and like all these desserts and stuff and so we made them out of clay been doing lots of painting tie-dye making these masks so my classroom right now is a disaster zone <laughs> here's all these like little kids we made people that fell apart so we're gonna have to glue them all together hi guys i'm home I'm going to get ready for bed. What was my afternoon like today? So I finished teaching and then I nannied for a small amount of time. And I came home, Ryan's been sick, so I made dinner and then I had to finish up an NFT collection. And it's eight o'clock when it's got done. So even when I'm not working, I'm working. This is a problem. I mean, it's a good thing. It's good, but it's not. It's... Yeah. Tell me you're a friend now. So I'm going to take off my makeup first. Um, Dermalogica pre This stuff smells amazing. So I lost all my freaking hair ties. I'm gonna warm up the water. You put this on before you put any water on your face. It's like to melt off your makeup. It smells amazing. 
I'm not taking off my mascara because it's so much work. I'm just gonna put it on again tomorrow. Water's warmed up, I'm gonna get my hands wet and then you scrub your boots. And it starts to create a lather. Do you guys know that before this vlog, I would literally like for years, years talk to myself while I was like doing my skincare and my makeup and I'd be like then I use this and this and like look at this product and now look at me all I'm doing is putting a camera in front of me instead of talking to myself I'm still talking to myself but you know what I mean hopefully somebody's watching us somewhere all right I'm gonna scrub it off uh, I should have used my makeup remover thing. That's normally what I use, but fell to the ground, so I forgot I had it. Okay. I am out of face wash right now, so I'm just using Ryan's Clinique for Men charcoal face wash. Normally I have this, like, it cosmetic one that I like. I need a face wash again, but I'm out. And I don't feel like getting any new products like face wash or shampoo or any of that stuff until we move because we move next week and I just don't want any more things so I have to pack up I'm already so stressed about it I hate moving so much I hate packing and unpacking luckily we're gonna have like a week to get everything moved but it still sucks clean, squeaky clean. The last couple of nights I've been adding um, grapeseed oil to my moisturizer and I think it's been really giving a good nice glow to my skin. I saw it somewhere on TikTok, surprise surprise. It's where I see everything that I use which is Probably not good, but well, you know, whatever. I'm the in, I'm influenced easily. Um, grape seed oil now solutions, 100% pure sensitive skincare, and I've been combining this with my moisturizer. Um, however, I am gonna take a break from it tonight because I think when I use new products too much on my skin, I break out no matter what it is. Um, I started to get you can't even I don't think you can even see it like on the camera. But like I can tell there's just like a little red texture of like my eczema coming out again. So I had to put on some eczema cream this morning and it's like going away. But I'm going to take a break from this right now. And all I'm going to use is good old peptide moisturizer by the Inculist. Great for sensitive skin if you have eczema. If you have sensitive skin, comment everything you use below. Because I want to know. I can't even use CBD. Like, you'd think, like, CBD is, like, to help um, calm your skin if it's broken out or freaking out. I tried that once, and it gave me a horrible, horrible rash. And it was, like, good stuff, too. That's all I'm doing for my skincare. Thank you, Did you want to be in the vlog? No, thanks. Brian's, what's your nighttime routine? Fresh my teeth and wash my face. Do you use any kind of moisturizer? No, some funny TikToks and my friends. You what? Some funny TikToks. That's part of your night routine? Yep. Okay. That's cool. Who's your favorite TikToker? What like TikTok feed do you have? Good talk. Do you guys ever think when you're brushing your teeth, do you think of that scene from Bring It On where she's in the bathroom with, um, what's her name, Mickey's brother? Like, oh, Mickey, you're something like that girl's brother. And she's standing there like this in like her little shorts. She's like, And she like spits in the sink and they like both do that and then they look at each other and she's like, 
Because sometimes I think about that stuff when I'm brushing my teeth. Not the only one, right? This movie's on elite. Last thing, actually, before I totally tune out. This is a part of, like, my daily routine. Not always my night. Sometimes I do it in the morning. Um, but I read a little passage from this, like, Jesus Calling book. Um, it's just like devotions for every day of the year. It's by Sarah Young and it just helps give me a peace of mind. So today is May 9th. I figured I'd read it with you guys. It says, don't be so hard on yourself. I can bring good even out of your mistakes. Your finite mind tends to look backward, longing to undo decisions you have come to regret. This is a waste of time and energy. Leading only to frustration instead of floundering in the past, release your mistakes to me. Look to me and trust, anticipating that my infinite creativity can weave both good choices and bad into a lovely design. Because you are human, you will continue to make mistakes. Thinking that you shall live an error-free life is symptomatic of pride. Your failures can be a source of blessing humbling you and giving you empathy for other people and their weaknesses. Best of all, failure highlights your dependence on me. I am able to bring beauty out of the Morris of your mistakes. Trust me and watch to see what I will do. That always kind of just like makes me think a little bit um, and like release a little bit of like anxiety or what's ever going on and bothering me um, in my life. So I will link this below. I think I just got it from Amazon a couple of years ago. Um, and there are definitely days where I don't read this. Sometimes I'll go like months without reading it. Um, but I find when I'm like really stressed or there's a lot going on that opening this back up and kind of following along for a while really helps to kind of center me. So... Okay, good night. Hello vlog, it is the next day, Tuesday. I'm home from work. Ryan is making beer brats. We're on the first step. And got ketchup, mustard, this stuff is awesome. Sweet and sassy mustard, Uncle Phil's. Onions, Ryan likes the secret stadium sauce. This is what you put on your brats and hot dogs and stuff at the Brewers game, but I don't like it. Buns and then salad like boiling the beer no i like fresh onions on there do you want some no. um but we're gonna go grill these out now do you think that we'll be able to fit like chairs like that on our balcony no without the stands really I found some really cute sets, but we could fit something like that though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we only Oh, you put the all the brats on this plate? Yeah. Where's the second plate? Oh yeah, one. Well, I'm not eating enough of that. Right. Where are you gonna put all the brats? Just gonna... We have to eat it. Okay. So, I do need you. Love of my life. I know why they were expensive. I got my heavy duty boxes. Why'd you do that? I just want to ship them over. Guess what time it is? It's packing time. Woo. I'm working on packing up the guest bathroom right now. Um, the bag that you just saw, I ordered a pack of 10 of those from Amazon. And because we have like a week to move, we're gonna pack 10 bags up, bring them to the new apartment, undo them or take them out bring them back, pack them up, do that throughout the course of a week and then moving like all of our big stuff over the weekend. But 
So basically we're just packing these up. Ryan went and got a bunch of boxes today and it's finally time. The end of an era. This is gonna go, yeah. Actually, anywhere, which is kind of a weird thing, but I really enjoy being in the bathroom. <laughs> um, anyways, it's Wednesday morning, and um, I went to spin this morning. I go to Spire down in the third ward. Um, if you want to try a new workout place, uh, or you wanted to try a spin before cycling, I highly recommend you'll go, you'll get addicted. It's actually really, really fun. Um, so we did that and then went to Stone Creek. And I just picked up a coffee really quick today because um, I, didn't, I didn't have time to like hang and chill normally Wednesdays. I chilled with the girls for a little bit and um, did not have time because I have to go pick up my car and get the rental car returned before I go to work. So that is what my morning is like. I really shouldn't be, even be vlogging right now because I need to get going. So I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> set up a little bit differently than normal because I don't want anybody seeing that I'm walking. <laughs> um, I got my car back today, which was good. It's been gone for like a month now. It's safe to say, I feel a lot more like myself when I have my car. There's a bunch of junk in the back though because I, when my car got broken into, I was in the process of taking stuff to Goodwill. So I still need to do that. So if you see that, that's why. Um, what else? I took my middle school students on a field trip today. I have a little art club. And we went to the Milwaukee Art Museum, which was really fun. Then when I was driving to go to my nanny drop, somebody screamed out their window at me, like really intensely, and then drove away. And I have no idea what they said, but I have not been able to shake the anxiety from it. I don't know if it's just me or like I'm stressed because there's so many things going on in my life right now and I feel like it's such a time crunch but it's probably that combined with like when somebody honks at me or like flips me off or yells at me when I'm driving I keep that with me and it stays with me for hours if not the entire day. I can't let it go. I didn't even I don't think I did anything wrong like I don't think I cut him off I didn't like I like checked my car, you know, I'm like, do I have my gas cap open? Do I like, somebody write something on the back of my car? I have no idea what I did to this person. 
and I don't know what they even yelled at me, but it was like, it was a passenger and it was really intense and it scared the shit out of me. And so that has not left me yet. I'm really excited to move, but I'm also kind of anxious about it. Two weekends ago, we've been like busy the last couple weekends and we're going to be gone this weekend. And so was it like two weeks ago that it was like, it was a Saturday night and Ryan was sleeping. We had gone out and Ryan was sleeping and I like had like a mini like freak out <laughs> because I was like, um, that was the last Saturday night that we would spend in our apartment. And we've been there for two years and that was like our first home together and I would say probably like the first place that like I have like felt like what my was my home since I left for college since high school because my parents um they split up for a little while and then like moved and they were like at a couple different locations until where they are now. And like, I don't have a bedroom or anything now at their place anymore. I mean, obviously I'm like 26, so like, that's fine. But like we, we had like left our childhood home. Um, and like, since then, obviously I had a, like a, quite a few places that I lived in college. And then like when I graduated college, I had my own apartment, but it was really small and I didn't like it. And it was like a piece of shit basically. But this was like um, our apartment where I really felt like it was home and relieving. And like I'm excited to go because I like our new apartment. And I think it's going to be like, like a whole like another chapter of our lives. But I'm sad to leave. And so, like, all of this was going through my mind, like, really, really late, like, at midnight on a Saturday night. And I was like, this is the last Sunday that I'm going to wake up here. And I was so sad. But I'm okay now. And I'm excited. It's just moving for me is a lot mentally, physically, emotionally. I get very attached to places and things and I'm very nostalgic. That's my little rant. For now, I still got like seven minutes till we're supposed to be done with practice and then I'm gonna bring this kid home. go home I would assume because there's going to be traffic that I'll probably get home around 6.45 7 o'clock ish that's pretty normal for me I am packing some things up and I was going through this is just a disaster down here I was going through like all my things up here um and I have a bunch of like kind of antique things that I got from my great aunt a lot of like little um, shoulder fur things. My Aunt Kelly actually gave me this, my dad's sister, and it still works. It's just the, the film is super expensive. Um, but I totally forgot I had this little vintage, it's like a makeup um, compact purse thing. So it's metal and one side you open up and it's just like you can store things in it. This is leather and the other side check this out oh shoot <laughs> it has all this old like an old makeup set so this is like a lighter for your cigarettes uh doesn't work anymore i don't know how old this is this is like a little powder thing doesn't have powder in there but you can put powder in there and this is like a mirror hello it's really dirty this I don't know if this was supposed to be like I actually have no idea because there's I think whatever was in there is missing because 
Looks like it's supposed to have like a little container, but it's not in there. Um, a lipstick tube that does not. Sorry, let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. Doesn't have lipstick in it that you could put lipstick in there. Normally, this is my like self tan when my hand looks gross. And then this is a little comb. How cool, right? And it says Evans on it, so I don't know if that's like the brand that this was, but I'm gonna start using it. The only issue is this. I don't know what was on here, and I'd have to kind of figure out a way to fix this and make this look nice. And then, um, but how cute would that be walking around with? How fun, right? All right, I also have this old Gimbal's silk scarf that I think is so beautiful. I'm sorry, it's, oh, it's polyester, my bad. Um, and it is Symphony Scarves, but how pretty is this? I've never worn it because I don't really know how to wear it, um, but I'm keeping it because one day, I think I will. And I might borderline be a hoarder, but that's like what I was talking about with, I'm a very nostalgic person and I like to keep things like this for my family members. And like I have old cards and things like that that I just cannot get myself to get rid of. So it's getting uh, packed up in here. Okay, look what else I found. This was like shoved way under all my clothes in here. My grandpa gave me these <laughs> one day. It's like, I saw these. This is for when you and Ryan have babies. And I have one girl outfit and one boy outfit. So they're so funky. Maybe someday I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> And I literally can't put anything else in here, so I need to zip that up. All of this stuff is getting donated. It's Thursday, 81 degrees. I'm on my lunch break. Okay, you can see it. I am gonna go get a milkshake. I decided I need a little pick-me-up, and it sounds so good. Seven more minutes until my students come into my classroom, but I thought I would pop in and say hello. It's Friday, end of the week. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm at school. And um, went to dinner last night with Al and Nadia, and it was much needed. I did not vlog any of it, but you guys have seen me go to Cafe and Deal like 10 times. This morning, I got up early and I had to do so many things. Uh, we're leaving for Iowa today because it's Andrew um, Tweel's graduation. Ryan's brother is graduating from the uh, University of Iowa today. So congratulations, Andrew. Or not today, tomorrow. He graduates tomorrow. But we are going today and we have to leave. I'm actually leaving school early. And like once I get home, I'm literally like not even going in the house. Um, I'm hopping in the car and we are going because it takes about four hours to get there. And we have dinner reservations at seven and I'm, we're leaving at like three so it's gonna be very go 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 oh yeah i forgot i showed you guys i ordered some stuff from unfinished legacy or a t-shirt i've been wanting to order from them for a really long time um it's a brand by milwaukee artist or he started in milwaukee you now moved to la because his brand's like getting bigger but his name is brema brema and um i think he's super cool <sighs> sounds so lame He's super cool. No, but really though, um, his brand is really, really cool. And so I finally ordered something from him and it is coming in within the next couple of days. Also, you guys, I need to get Botox again. 
yeah that's my update for now i feel like this has been did i say this already this is the issue it's this has been such a chatty vlog i think that's kind of all i've been doing is talking to you guys so that's not your vibe um my bad it's mainly because i'm stressed i don't do cute things when i'm stressed i just get them done and that stresses me out even more because i love i'm like a big dilly dally kind of person i love to take my time and like enjoy what i'm doing especially in the mornings like getting ready and i have a routine and all this stuff and this week has just been really difficult to do that so we are currently on our way to iowa ryan's here and it's a four-hour drive but we're making good time